Hi, I'm Heinbach and it's good to have you back. Working with a matrix mixer is a bit of a black art when it comes to mixing. On one hand, they're very practical. On the other hand, they can be very daunting and create massive feedbacks. But if you want to be flexible, fast and creative in your studio rounding, well, they are fantastic and deserve a closer look, which is what we're going to do in this video. I will especially cover the Erika Synth Matrix Mixer that they sent me. Thank you, Erika, for that. What is a Matrix Mixer? And I'm sorry in advance for switching between Matrix and Matrix, because in German it's Matrix and that creeps just up on me. A Matrix Mixer is like a patch bay with volume control. As with a patch bay, you can send any input to any output that you've connected with it, but you get also volume control. This enables you to quickly change order of effects or which speaker is addressed or which mic goes to where. That is why they are very common in installations such as churches or congress halls. Often you find them in live mixes too, for example to give a monitor mix to the band. The modular guys and experimentalists have discovered their creative views for quite some time. From the legendary Shurox Pander to DIY boxes to Eurorack modules. They have been used by bands like Autocar or Thomas Ankersmith. I myself have used them for years and I still miss my mix with it mixer, which had a small matrix mixer included. Why do experimental musicians like to use them? We'll find out in a bit. First of all, let me show you the practical application of a matrix mixer. At the core, all matrix mixers work the same. You get a row of inputs and a row of outputs. And then you get a way to connect inputs to outputs. Here it's a patch bay with VCAs, so you've got level control, but more often than not, they use a bunch of knobs to feed one channel to the other. The setup is very easy. Just connect an input from an instrument to the output of an instrument or piece of gear. I have set up the Erika Synth Matrix Mixer as the hub of my analog effects right now. It gets fed from an aux channel of my main Ramsa mixer. And I've connected two tape echoes, a BBD delay, two analog test equipment filters, a vocoder and a dual phaser on its in and outs. That is why it looks a bit messy, because all these connections require adapters, because this yeah, uses mini jacks, as you do in the Eurorack world. Now let's feed this a signal. This is my Roland TR606 modded. Let's feed this to an effect, in this case the echo fix tape echo. And my aux arrives on input 3 and out 2 or B is the input of the tape echo. And the return is on 2, left and right. This goes to the aux return, this row. That's pretty lovely. But now let's patch in a bandpass filter into ha. And now the return of that is turn us on 10. Left and right. Lovely, but now I want to add a bigger space, and therefore I'm running it through my old Dynacord. And now that we've made that patch, we can save it, which is absolutely one of the best features of this mixer. Just navigate to save, and then click this, bam, saved. This is so important for me, because I play a lot of stuff by mixing it live and dubbing it on this mixer here. The Erika is like having another pair of hands, which allows me to change routing quickly when I jam. That is because you can simply step through saved patterns using the pattern switches.
After you've saved the pattern, you can recall it via MIDI program changes, which means you can take something from your door, program a MIDI program change track, and then do changes in time with your digital audio workstation. I've set up a little patch using my Mellotron expansion pack that I made with GeForce. I'm running the signal from the computer to the matrix mixer and sending it program changes every bar. This was just a very, very simple demonstration. There's so much more you can do once you go experimental. And one of the coolest things about the Erica is it has experimental built into it. Because if you press shift and pattern, at the same time, you get a random patch. <laughs> If you like these sounds, I've made a new bank for my plugin noises I made together with Audio Thing. And that has just gotten a huge update with a lot of features, six new banks. So check it out now. This feedback is why matrix mixes are so beloved by experimental artists. You can feed one channel into the other and create wonderful, wonderful textures. Let's try something subtle. This is our patch from before. And now I'm going to route the tape echo into itself. Upping the gain on the input on the tape echo. Start filtering. Now let's add phaser feedback. I'm routing the Mutron into itself. I'm now going to use the sound on sound feature of this tape echo to capture the feedback. That's the beauty about patching with feedback. You never know where you're gonna end up. And for me, it's oftentimes the springboard for new ideas. I hope this inspires you to try out matrix mixes, be it the Erica one or any other. It is a beautiful technique that is worth exploring. If you like what you heard in this video, there's music available on my Patreon as well as a sound pack. If you have any more questions, do leave them in the comments below or visit the subreddit. Thank you all for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye.